In keeping with our theme of starting the year strong, I'm very excited to introduce Orna Walters, who has helped me over this last year to start my own 2020 Super Strong, coming off of a traumatic back injury, which on top of a hormone imbalance, put on a quick 25 pounds, and you've seen me, it's been documented by you on camera all this year. And thanks to Orna, I've gotten some really great help, great advice, and I wanted to share her here with you. So Orna, thank you so mm. much for coming in. Thank you, thank you, Lauren. Thank you both for having me back again. I think it's such an important topic, especially for us ladies, but I definitely have male clients that I've helped mm -hmm. too. Theirs is a different kind of problem, but I know for myself, you know, I certainly have clients that struggled with their weight their whole life and I've been able to help them. Um, for me specifically, I put on a lot of weight when I got sick with adult onset asthma. So I didn't have a problem before that. Um, besides the one that's imaginary that all us ladies have on some level or another. It's called a mirror. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so, um, you know, when you have asthma, the doctors give you steroids. Sure. And I literally went from a size 6 to a size 16 like that, like overnight. Mm -hmm. And then it took me about a year to get healthy, and I another, I don't know, several years mm -hmm. to try and figure this weight thing out. And I saw healthcare professionals that told me I would never get the weight off because I put it on from the medication. And I'm just glad I'm a tenacious person because I didn't want to not feel or look like me. Mm -hmm. And so what happened for me is my, my niece got engaged and the day she called with her wedding date, she says, okay, we're, I have the wedding date. And I'm like, oh great, I'm all excited for her. She says, well, it's July 29 of 2018. And the first thought in my head was, oh crap, I don't, I don't wanna be the fat aunt at the wedding. And I was like, okay, I gotta find something else to try. And I tried a lot of things. And on this instance, I ended up calling a good friend. I'd seen her posts on Facebook, with these dramatic transformation, um, befores and afters, you know, some just, dramatic in how vibrant people looked, mm -hmm. you know, plus the difference in their size, of course. And I knew she was somebody that I could really trust. And I hired her to be my health coach. And I'm so glad that I said yes and gave it a go because I feel finally good yeah. again. And I and feel like me amazing, again. amazing, right? And exactly. you look great as well. You look Thank amazing. You. you feel amazing. I know for me, getting back into my clothes, meaning I didn't have to buy a new wardrobe because this is who I was before this whole mess started. And the idea of getting back to that person and feeling strong and feeling good and knowing that I can manage what's going on in my body right now. I think that's, that's a lot of what we go through. Now, I love you to pieces. I know you've never had an extra ounce on your <laughs> fabulous body. I know you know people who have struggled with weight, but you know, to live this life as an image consultant, uh, as an on-air person, mm -hmm. you know, when you think about that level of change where one day, you're, yesterday you were five pounds less than today, and then in four days, oh my gosh, another 15 pounds and you don't know where it even came from. And it happens for so many reasons. How do you even isolate? Because I worked with a number of professionals for years, and we just never you know, hit the mark. And the work that we did was so helpful. So I want you to be able to um, you know, share with our viewers some things that can happen for them, even if they just want to lose five pounds after the holidays. Sure, absolutely. And whether, you know, you are someone who wants to lose that extra five, ten pounds or somebody who has a hundred plus, it doesn't really matter because each person is unique anyway. Mm -hmm. Every single person has their own unique body type, their own unique um you know, lifestyle too, because I feel like as a health coach, it's my job to really find a, a, and help that specific person find something that's easy for them to incorporate into their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Because if it's not easy for them to do, then it will be very hard to stick to. And I don't want it to be hard to stick to, right? I don't really think of things as far as like a diet or temporary. It really is about lifelong health, mm -hmm. feeling good in your body. And you know, for me, the other layer of things that was so difficult for me was when I hit perimenopause. And I, I can see they're showing my mm -hmm. before and after. That actually is my heaviest weight 
in, back in 2013, I hit that perimenopause where I felt like I just had no metabolism on top of the weight that I had gained right. from, the, from steroids. the steroids and being sick. And so it was really difficult. I mean, I got to the point where I felt like I could just eat celery all day and I would still gain. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was like, what? And I did go through that. Two heads of lettuce and I had to work out two hours a day in order to see any downturn. Mm -hmm. And it's just not, number one, it's not healthy. It's not sustainable. And why in the world would you do it? Well, right. And you're, it's not, you want to be overall and feeding your body is important. Mm -hmm. You need to feed your body. You know, a couple heads of lettuce isn't really doing a whole lot well, there as far as nutrition goes. And you in know? my case, <laughs> the, what we determined, eating every two hours... 100 calories and having one real meal, a really well-balanced meal a day. And I think one of the most key factors was, and you kept edging me slowly, slowly, drink more water, drink more water. And here I thought I was already floating away, but when I hit the 100, mil, uh, the 100 ounces, ounce mark yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden it started to flush everything out, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, when something works, you just want to keep doing it. Absolutely. And so that's been kind of fun, knowing <laughs> that just water made such a big difference. So that's one of the things that you did yeah. that was different, is you had at least 100 ounces of water mm -hmm. a day. Oh, that's yeah. that's a really great, like, I, what I love about that is it's like something you can do proactively. Yeah. That makes yeah, it, that's and, interesting. And I would say anybody who's listening to us right now, like maybe they just don't really drink that much water. They don't like to drink water. And maybe that's too far for them. So mm -hmm. cut it in half. Try to go for 40, 50. Mm -hmm. Wherever you are, just add on 10 ounces. Then mm -hmm. add on another 10 ounces. Then add on another 10 ounces. So what does the extra water do for you? Well, you said flushing yeah. something out? Well, I mean, you have to flush your body and hydrate for sure. I mean, 100 mm -hmm. ounces is kind of the top mark there. But most of us are actually dehydrated. Yeah. We we drink caffeine, we, yeah. <laughs> we travel, you know, polluted air. Mm -hmm. There are so many things in the environment that suck the moisture out of us. Mm -hmm. Our food doesn't necessarily, we're not absorbing the nutrients mm. and we need more of that hydration. Yeah, and quite frankly, when you are burning stored fat, you need to flush the fat out, which is another reason why when you are looking to release that stored fat, you want to drink extra water mm. to literally flush it out. And the first week or so, you might feel like you're floating away, you're right. running to the loo every, mm -hmm. you know, 20 minutes. Your body will adjust. And that's mm -hmm. what's amazing about the body. And, you know, Lauren, the program you're on may not be right for everybody. Right. And so, you know, that's why I want to encourage people to reach out and talk with me. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, no pressure, but I can really evaluate each person. I would want to know what their goals are. I had a really in-depth conversation with Lauren, you sure. know, after I was on the show mm -hmm. at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Um, Actually, this year. you guys were here the day after my back injury when oh, things were yeah. just at the worst yeah. and that that resulted in a toxic download in my whole body so yeah. my body had so much trauma going on for months that even though we started a healthier food program mm -hmm. my body wouldn't release it took mm. about four months so yeah it was like beep 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 oh. it didn't want to because trauma makes the body hold on I mean sure. let's look at it this way I know you can relate to this right mm -hmm. is our we're wired to survive we're not wired right. to thrive so the body says oh my gosh there's something extra here well you might have to run from a saber-toothed tiger I better hold on to it mm -hmm. you know it thinks of that extra stuff like a savings account you know we all have that friend you know who has mm -hmm. like 50 cents of every dollar she's ever earned strode away somewhere mm -hmm. and the body's kind of like that it says oh this extra stuff is important I might need it in case of an emergency to survive. And there isn't a switch that tells the body, I have too much extra, it's time to let it go. It doesn't know to do that. And so we prompt the body to do that. And because it is, you know, the beginning of the year, we want everybody to start the year off strong. I do believe being a coach for as many decades as I've been a coach, it's important that people don't try to change everything all at once. Sure. I mm -hmm. think it's one of the biggest mistakes people make. So when I start working with a client, if they're exercising, we might make changes to it. If they're not exercising at all, I say, don't worry about it. We'll add it in later. And so I really work at um, incremental changes, mm -hmm. like con small, consistent changes that add up over time are so much better for the body than trying to change everything all at once. Yeah, that's a, so that's super interesting and I really um, align well with like your philosophy. So like drinking a lot of water, <laughs> making these changes small, what's another thing that you did that was really helpful? Well, interestingly, I wasn't exercising at the time mm -hmm. because my body was in so much trauma. Mm -hmm. They didn't the want me to do anything mm -hmm. with my back injury. One day, probably five months later, 
um, because I stuck to it and I really, because I felt good. I, could, I knew it was making, it was making uh, a good, it was good for me. The I exercise. felt good. The non-exercise. Oh, the but non-exercise. the food program that we had mm-hmm. me on helped me feel better. It helped me feel more balanced. I was sleeping better. Mm-hmm. And then one day I woke up and felt like I wanted to exercise. Mm. I felt like I wanted to take a walk. So that was a key piece. It's not trying, you know, starting things slow, but it means sometimes not starting things until your body is ready to start them. Because mm-hmm. now, especially since I adopted a dog, mm-hmm. <laughs> I walk at least 10,000 steps a day. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's a walker. Mm-hmm. And I do my normal workouts, mm-hmm. which is a 30-minute workout in home. Mm-hmm. And everything, you know, does come together, but it didn't come together in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And Orna and I had a lot of conversation about I'm willing to stay the course because I feel good. Mm-hmm even though I'm not seeing the kinds of results that I wanted to see. Now that's a super interesting thing as well. So you could, you could tell in your soul that it was going to work, even if you didn't see the results on the scale totes. I wasn't seeing results on the scale. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Occasionally I would see the results in my clothes. Mm -hmm. Like I could put on a pair of pants that I couldn't put on a couple Mm -hmm. months before, but it took a while. Mm -hmm. It really took time because my body wasn't all that trauma and it was holding on to everything. Mm -hmm. You know, when your body has trauma and the trauma is stored in the fat, Mm -hmm. and if it releases it, it goes to the organs, it becomes Mm -hmm. really dangerous. So it's almost like I didn't want the fat to release because Mm -hmm. then the trauma would go with it. That makes sense. But the inches were still, so the inflammation was coming down Mm. and a lot, I had a traumatic incident, but a lot of people struggle with inflammation Mm -hmm. just from their body function, natural function. Oh, well, a lot of people, yeah. I mean, I, you know, yours was a unique case Mm -hmm. for sure. And I do think it's important that people are not a slave to some scale. You know, the first question, and Lauren will attest to this, the first question I ask my clients when I connect with them is, how do you feel? Because that's the most important thing. So she was experiencing changes. Mm -hmm. And even though things were going slower in the weight loss on the scale number department, a little slower than she wanted, there were changes that were possible positive that she was seeing the results from. And it's kind of the backwards of what most people experience. Because most people, out the gate, they go with a bang, and there's big drops. And I'm like, don't get attached to that. Mm -hmm. It's going to slow down, because it will eventually slow down. So it's not about speed. I want people to really understand it. It's not a race. Mm -hmm. You know, the body is really keen on being consistent. And so you don't want things to go quickly. Although most people do respond when they make a change Mm -hmm. by, you know, with a guide that knows what they're doing, like me, where I can guide them, the body tends to make a big change in week one and week two, and then it'll slow down in week three and week four. And that's the, that's the average, right? You're a little bit more, right? It's totally a motivator. But now I can look back 10 months later Mm -hmm. and say the 25 pounds is off. Mm -hmm. I'm back into my clothes. I'm working out, I'm feeling good, I'm sleeping better. Those were the things I I wanted. I couldn't heal without sleeping and I couldn't sleep. And Mm -hmm. I couldn't, you know, the food, I wasn't getting nutrition. All of it feeds itself. We forget how all connected Mm -hmm. we really are. Mm -hmm. So I really encourage my viewers, you, for anyone you know, Anyone I know, um, I've sent plenty of people just to have a conversation with Orna. Just, it's a different kind of conversation. It's not one that I had had with my doctors or my nutritionists. And 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 I tried keto and intermittent fasting, and I did all the the food rearranging that I knew to do. Mm -hmm. But the real key was that she could hear what I was doing and help me make adjustments. Nothing painful. Mm-hmm. I was never hungry. I always felt wow. like I That's was really I was balanced. That's amazing. And that was key. And so how do our viewers get in touch with you? Well, thank you for asking that. Um, I did set up a website for people to connect with me. It makes things easy mm-hmm. that way. Um, and they can go. I set up a little website called Get Your Sexy Back Program. Oh, I like it. <laughs> right? Because for me, I didn't feel sexy when I was carrying around an extra 50 plus pounds. It was really difficult Mm -hmm. for me. And getting my sexy back for me felt like feeling like me again. And so 
you know, I, I know that there's a lot of pressure on women to look a certain way, and the truth is, I'm never going to be a size zero, and I'm okay with that. I'm a curvy girl, I got hips, I got the girls up top, and I love my curves, and I love being curvy, but being heavy was difficult. Yeah. So for me, it was about getting my sexy back, and so mm -hmm. people go to www.getyoursexybackprogram.com, they'll be able to fill out a little, you know, just a little form, you know, just some questions so I can come prepared, mm -hmm. you know, and then we can sort of dig in and I can uh, find out what their health goals are and really look at how can I find something that works for their lifestyle. I really look at where someone is now in relation to where they want to be and then we chunk it down because part of my job is to celebrate wins along the way. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times people want to wait till they get all the way from A all the way to Z mm -hmm. and they're not nice to themselves unless they get all the way to Z and I'm like, mm -mm, that just doesn't work on my watch, right? right? We're gonna love this, you know, we're gonna love you into health, we're gonna love the weight off of you, and you get to be kind and compassionate and loving with yourself. It's not about being perfect. Everybody has good days and bad days. Nobody's ever gonna be stuck on a number. I'm not stuck on a number, right? Because you're, we're living organisms. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so people get into an optimal range, ultimately, mm -hmm. right, an optimal weight range. And so it, then it becomes easy when you're not obsessed with like the number thing. Okay. So yeah. I really encourage people to reach out to me so that I can find out where they are in relation to where they wanna be and we make a plan together. And for someone like Lauren needed a lot of tweaks and changes along the way. And so we would tweak and change yeah. and tweak and change mm -hmm. and set it up and how do you feel? And I asked a lot of questions. Like sometimes I was like, gosh, I feel like I'm interrogating you. you know? <laughs> sometimes she did. <laughs> but ultimately we got to the answer. And I really encourage you to reach out to Orna just to get some answers or get some interesting questions that maybe you haven't asked yourself. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing with us. I know people are going to want to start the year strong, so I hope they'll reach out to you. Well, thank you so much Thanks for having me. Yeah. I really appreciate it. We'll see you again. Thank you. And we'll be right back.